Well, listen, here's the thing. If you want that Louis Vuitton handbag, then you need to grab something else that's leathery. And I'm talking about old wrinkly balls and rub them on your face. That's the only way you're going to get that handbag, love. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very difficult video to make. Why? Because there are fucking wankers everywhere. So to narrow that list down to just 10 types of fucking wankers, it was a very difficult task. Thankfully, this good motherfucker has got it all covered, ladies and gentlemen. Now, there may be some naysayers out there that suggest that the buttsman, that this human being with this beard is in fact a wanker. And to them, I say this. Go and get fucked, you fucking fuckface. And I know what you're thinking. How many times are vegans and feminists and cyclists going to appear on this list? Well, you may be shocked to hear this. Zero. They're not going to appear on this list at all. Why? Because I've talked mountains of shit about them over the last few weeks. So let's give them a little breath of fresh air and talk about the other fuckwits, the other wankers in the world. But before we go on, let's make sure we just acknowledge the existence of wankers like the cyclist who got in the way of a motorcyclist going around a roundabout. Going yeah, she's on the roundabout there. Yeah, she yeah. probably should have kept going. But then again, you've got a dozen cyclists who are about to come into your space. Look at these absolute turds just getting in the way of general activities during the day. Who the fuck do you think you are? Pay rego, cocksuckers. And of course, before we start the list, make sure you subscribe. We're going to hit a million subscribers by the 14th of July, ladies and gentlemen. Hit that bloody big red button immediately. Number 10. Managers. Everyone's manager at work is a complete fuckwit. We know this. But what is even worse is the managers who demand that you give up your entire life for $20 an hour at JB Hi-Fi. I get that you're a lonely human being who's never had power in their entire lives and now they've been promoted to manager. They think they're some big fucking deal. Listen, dickhead, we know you're not a big fucking deal. Even your cat that sits at home all day pissing on your furniture hates your gut. You're unwanted, unloved, stop being a fuckwit to all your employees, no one gives a shit if you're hitting your KPIs, everyone thinks you're a cockhead. Number 9. Teenagers at the movies. I was a young man once and I loved going to the movie theatre and sitting there watching the current blockbuster picture with all my buddy pals. And as a young and I used to love throwing Maltesers and laughing and giggling and carrying on and interrupting the movie thinking I'm some type of bloody hero. But as I grew up and became an adult, I realised that the kids that make the noise in the theatre yell and scream and carry on and giggle and laugh and talk are perhaps the most scummiest pieces of shit in the entire universe. We're adults now, so the only two hours of enjoyment and quiet and peace that we get in the entire week is sitting in that dark movie theatre watching The Rock remake another fucking movie. Don't get me wrong, I love The Rock, but for Christ's sake, can someone in Hollywood write a fucking script? And now we've got these fuck knuckles sitting behind us, giggling with their mouth full of braces and fucking cheesels, laughing about some shit that happened at recess six weeks ago. No one gives a fuck if Sally fell over and split her fucking pants and then Johnny got an erection, all right? I'm here to watch a fucking movie. You shut the fuck up, cockhead. Number eight. Literally. Chicks who say literally in every fucking sentence are literally the biggest wankers in the world. You dumb fuck, you have no grasp of the English language, you piss me off to no end. Oh my god, I literally died. No you fucking didn't, you didn't literally die, you're talking you dickhead. And you just got slightly excited because there was a cheap chai latte on fucking sale. Pull your fucking head in and instead of using your afterpay to buy shit at Lorna Jane that you don't need, use it to buy a thesaurus and learn some more words, you fucking numpty. Number seven, Triple J hosts. Triple J is an Australian government funded radio station and it's basically just a big community station where people's are just, oh, honestly, the hosts on this radio station are just deplorable human beings. Their opinions are shithouse, their music's shithouse, their fucking just attitudes are shithouse. They are generally shithouse. They are a complete bunch of fucking wankers. For example, coming up after the break, we're going to talk about how bad white people are, even though we're our white people and we've never done anything to try and fix the problems. And after that, we're going to go to the phone lines and ask what words can't you say properly. And just before we do that, we're going to play a brand new song by an amazing new artist called Rubbish Tip. It's their new song from their brand new album, Broken Bottle, you're listening to Triple J. We fucking hate anybody that's not us. Number six, wankers who say, do you know who I am? People who say, do you know who I am? Usually are fucking nobodies, all right? Particularly if they're fucking influencers or people who are big on social media. I don't have to do it because everyone knows who I am. 
had you, I fucking stick out like dog's balls with this massive fucking beard. And, you know, people love the butts of mine. Anyway, moving on. There's this one chick that gets around my town and she asks people, do you know who I am? Do you want to know who she is? Well, she's an Instagram celebrity sort of thing, right? Well, she's not even that big, but she's a celebrity, right? But you know what she actually does and why everyone knows her? She has an account on a website called OnlyFans. And on OnlyFans, poor sad people who enjoy masturbating pay $20 a month to watch people be nude. Yeah, she's a nude person. She posts photos of her finger jamming herself and... She expects people to give a shit who she is. Wake up to yourself. No one gives a fuck. Also, I bet your mum and dad are real proud, love. Good shit. Great career choice. Shackers, brah. Number five. Waleed Ali. There is no explanation needed here. Waleed Ali is a humongous wanker. Moving on. Number four. Banks. Now, I'm not shitty at banks for, you know, ruining the global financial climate several years ago. I'm not angry at banks for ruining people's lives, for giving out dodgy home loans. I'm not angry at banks for being plain evil. I'm angry at banks because they think they're good enough to shut early on a Saturday and not even open on a Sunday. Who the fuck do you think you are? Oh, we've got all the money. We've got all the power. Well, listen here, cockhead. You fucking open on a Sunday. If I want to go in there and I want to withdraw a couple of hundred dollars to go and purchase myself some Butch Mound merch, which is still available on my website, anyway, moving on, then I should be able to do that on a Sunday if I want to do that on a Sunday. You fucking little bloody ignorant pieces of shit. Fuck you. Number three. Parking inspectors. Parking inspectors are the cyclists of the job world. These germs in society's typical day starts with them waking up, uh, punching a puppy in the face, putting their fluoro vest on, their despicable looking utility belt on, and going out and ruining pensioners days who can't read the signs correctly, and then finding them $119 so they have to eat stale Wonder White bread for the next three weeks. Oh, it's my job. It's just my job. Yeah, good on ya. Yeah, there's a thousand other fucking jobs. Pick a better job. You. Fucking horrible piece of shit. Number two, soy boy. Soy boys are wankers. There's no denying that fact. And you may not even know what a soy boy is. Well, picture this. A very non-masculine man. Well, boy or child or whatever you want to call them. Someone whose beard doesn't grow lusciously on their face. It grows heinously from their neck. One of these blokes with arms as thick as noodles. One of these guys who wears a futurist feminine t-shirt. Are you fucking kidding me, mate? This bloke thinks that... Soy milk is better than sport. This boy thinks that the weight of a woman's heart is crying about the wage gap. Soy boys are everywhere and you may know them and if you do know them make sure you call them a soy boy because they deserve it because they're massive wankers and full of soy. That's number two ladies and gentlemen and now it's time for number one on the lists of the top ten wankers of all time. Number one. Chicks with sugar daddies. There's a growing trend in the world of young women with Zero self-respect, low self-esteem, and absolute zero levels of intelligence taking up the activity of having sex with older men for money. Now, I know what you're thinking. That's prostitution. And, well, yes, obviously it is. But it's been given a new name called a sugar daddy, where a young lady goes out and gets things bought for them, and if they want to, they have sex. Well listen, here's the thing, if you want that Louis Vuitton handbag, then you need to grab something else that's leathery, and I'm talking about old wrinkly balls, and rub them on your face, that's the only way you're gonna get that handbag, love. You want big tits? You want new eyebrows? You want something else injected into your ass somewhere? Well guess what? You gotta get that old dude to inject something else into you, and that's the only way it's gonna go down, because let's face it, ladies and gentlemen, you're a, you're a big old whore. So next time you see one of these ladies who everyone knows is a little bit of a sugar baby and has a sugar daddy promoting herself on Instagram, touting about how successful she is or how amazing the commercial goods that she has in her life, in her possession, are just remember that she got fucked by an old man for money. <laughs> How wonderful. Well, there you have it, folks. That's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you follow me on Twitter and Instagram. It's at the Buttsman. And don't forget, I'm heading to the Melbourne International Comedy Festival in only a month's time. So check out the ticket link, which is below. So be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East. A deep pincy car. What the fuck? That's going really... Anyway, what? it doesn't matter. Bye.